Hello, today I am going to ask you two important questions that anyone that is engaged in wealth preservation strategies, whether it's for yourself or for a third party or for your family, should be able to answer if they want to direct you down the proper path in the next several years. So let me preface these two questions by saying they both can be answered within the time frame of 1990 until the present day. Okay, so within the last 25 years is the time frame that you would be able to answer these questions. And they're not hypothetical questions either. These are questions that can be answered um, for real situations that have occurred within the time frame of 1990 to current day. Okay, so here's question number one. How can $50,000 plus $50,000 only equal $62,090 instead of $100,000? Again, how can $50,000 plus $50,000 only equal $62,090 instead of $100,000? And question number two. How can earning $3 an hour at your job have been more beneficial than earning $25 an hour at your job? Again, how can earning $3 an hour at your job have been more beneficial to you than earning $25 an hour at your job? Again, these are questions that for anyone that truly understands the currency wars, I think you're going to understand exactly what you need to do to answer these questions and it should require probably no more than at most 30 minutes of research to come to the answers to these questions so um, if you are someone that is basically having a third party a financial advisor some other wealth manager manager assets ask them these two questions and see if they can answer it I will actually come back in about a week and provide the answers to these questions um, but in the meantime, you'll have a week to try to figure it out. And I also will release a series called uh, Wealth Inequality in the meantime, a three-part series. And, and I'll give you some hints as to how to figure out the solutions to these questions. Because, again, I always think for someone that does their own research and comes to uh, their own conclusions, it's a much better learning process than me just explaining to you how you conclude um, the answers to the two questions I gave you. Okay, so I'll be back in about a week with answers to these questions. And in the meantime, remain intensely curious. So long.